Hi everyone, hopefully you can hear me again. Oh, what a crazy couple of hours, well not you know, a crazy hour or so that was. Toy come up right up near the cliffs, really massive waves. Pretty dangerous. Still got a tide in front of us as you can see near the wood, but hopefully it'll start to go down now. We'll get back to the other side of the wood and we'll start catching some fish again. Yeah, we're all good. That was pretty dodgy though. Just had to get right back and couldn't get a signal. Yeah, we just got to that a little bit more and I better get back up there now on the beach. Had plenty more fish. We're on 12 whiting and 4 rockland now. Some of the whiting have been quite decent size. Not two pound or stuff like that, but you know, sort of pound and a bit, pound and a quarter, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty dodgy mark to fish when the weather's like this. Quite dangerous. But bear with me. And we'll see if we can try and catch a few more fish for the camera. So we're on 12 white and 4 rockland. And most of that time I weren't fishing, so <laughs> I took all three rods out of the water. I just had to get right back up near the cliff. Just to be safe, to be honest. So the waves are just about coming past the wood now, so it shouldn't be too long before they go past it. Start going down. And then we'll be back then on the beach there. Just put one out in front of us, in front of the wood here. Hopefully, we can start catching a few more fish. Andy took a fish and has had a few more whiting as well. And lost a good fish. Can't believe the state of the sea I got here, and it was near enough flat come. And then within an hour, it turned into tidal waves. Crazy. They're really coming down. There's still some big, huge waves coming in. Massive great things, but the tide is actually going down, which is what we need. What's been happening in the old Solent Wars then? Who's catching what? Yeah, that's one hell of a wave machine. It's like them waves are when we were in, uh, where were we, Tenerife? In that water park where they turned that machine on, like you say, yeah. That's what they were like, they're crazy. Well, they still are. Sort of messed up the live a bit really, but I've had to start another one. But I doubt we'll get many people come in now. But there's nothing I could do, I had to be safe and just go back. Let's see if we can get a nice big fish now and make up for a bit of that time we lost. This rough old sea should you know produce something quite nice. No reason why there ain't no big bass or codlin sitting out there now. Perfect sea for it. Mainly catching pout and white and mutton, yeah. The weather's just crazy. <laughs> I weren't expecting any of this. It's only meant to be light winds, which we have got light winds. Quite chilly winds. I don't know, probably 15, 18 mile an hour, something like that. Woo! See what I mean? Big road wave coming again, and that just comes right up to us again. But that is definitely going down now. Let's hope we can 
pick up a few more fish for everyone then. So sorry I had to cut off. There's nothing I could do, I was right up, tucked against the cliff. And then obviously that cut the signal. <laughs> uh, he's having fun, I think. We'll both be alright once we can get down in front of this wood again. When it's safe to do so. Wouldn't have mattered if that was the middle of summer. You could just go and stand in them waves, couldn't you? Well, you know, sort of. Down near the wood. You've got to be sensible. Obviously, having a channel up, I guess, we don't want to be doing silly things. That's the trouble, some of these waves are still coming right up the beach like that. And not far off touching us. Actually to the left, they're actually coming up way past me and right up to the rod rests. Which is over there. They're still coming right up the beach though. That's where we are. Whee! So I weren't expecting nothing like this, I was expecting a nice flat calm night. And a nice bit of fishing. <laughs> a bit like I had last night, you know. Just need these waves to calm down so we can... Whoa! There's the trouble. <laughs> Kept them right up the beach still, now and again. Hopefully you're not getting no wind noise, that's quite windy now. Mike should be doing their jobs. Thanks to the people that come back in. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to show you some stuff sooner. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you missed me earlier on, I was standing down here near the rods. Wave comes straight over the top of the barriers. I mean these big barriers here. Straight over my head, absolutely soaked me. But Andy Tiggins got on his video. And I was dripping. My hat got wet, all my suit got wet. And it went straight over my head. So it's still a bit dodgy to fish, but... Thought I'd try and get everyone back. I'll put two rods out. Hopefully I'll show you some more fish. So we're on Twelve Whiten and four Rockland at the moment. I don't mind if people give me a thumbs down for <laughs> tonight's stuff because obviously it's been a bit of a strange one. I ain't been able to show you the rods too well. And I've had to move all over the place, so. That's fair enough, like leaving right now. I can't really move you to the rods because we'll lose signal. But as soon as this water's the other side of that wood, that's not coming over anymore. We'll get you down there again like we did when we first started. And I'll get you set up in front of the hooks. Hopefully. We'll start to get food. Yeah, I fixed the headlamp. Using it right now, it's what's on my head right this minute. Good old Phoenix lamp, but not a cheap one, it's a good one, and they're quite easy to clean out and fix. We've just got a bit of sand inside it, and that was sort of blocking between the terminals and the battery. 
I opened that up and cleaned it out and straight away it was working again. So we're all good. We're going to struggle to get the old thumbs up now, aren't we? <laughs> like I say, I'm doing my best. That was too dangerous to do anything else. Yeah, hopefully, Roger. It's just unreal. That proves that you can come down on a lovely, calm evening. And within an hour, the sea can just go mental. I still don't understand why I've done it. That's the thing. I can't understand why all of a sudden we're getting these big waves. There's no reason for them. It's not like we've got a 50, 60 mile an hour wind to produce these big, huge waves. Obviously we've got ships going across further out, but they ain't producing these, I wouldn't have thought. If anyone's got any ideas why all of a sudden, <laughs> within an hour, that went absolutely crazy. I'd be interested to hear. I mean, they ain't calmed down, to be honest. You can, I don't know how well you can see, but if you can see past the wood, there's still some really big waves coming in. Well, I'm trying to fish them. I've got the right-hand rod down here, which is the Sonic Black with a big 5-0 hook on it and a whole squid out there. Trying to find a big bass or a codlin. There's got to be something out there. We've got deep water, a rough sea. No reason why we should be getting something big. Then the other rod has got a two hook flapper with little one on it. And we've got the blacks on there. And that should be producing the white, which it has been all night. I don't think I've reeled in now. The only one I've reeled in is a whole squid rod without any fish on it, to be honest. And like I say, I probably just had an hour where I weren't fishing because that just weren't possible. We had to get right up near the cliff. We just need this water to go down just that little bit more. To make it safe again. The trouble is they come in so fierce that they that quite easily swept you off your feet. When I stood down there earlier on up to my knees, the force that hit you, it's easy to knock you over. Really rough. Yeah, I feel it's still get rough as well, but I, a lot of places do, but this is just crazy. <laughs> I've seen this at high tide before quite a few times. And I've never seen waves coming in like this normally, unless you get a big storm. But there's no storm, there's nothing happening. They're just coming, you know, wave after wave after wave. Big, huge, tall waves. For no apparent reason. <laughs> unless there's some big old fish out there wagging their tails and swirling up some waves. <laughs> Yeah, I'll still be posting that bite. I haven't forgot about it. I just didn't have no spare time whatsoever. I haven't even had a chance to put a thumbnail picture up on it. But I'll do all that tomorrow. I'm going to take a day off tomorrow from fishing. I'll still be editing and making videos and stuff, and I'll probably put one out tomorrow night. But I'm going to take a day off uh, from actually going out fishing. I need to have a rest. My body's absolutely aching all over. And so, sitting indoors at the computer do some editing, do some pictures and then I'll try and get a video uploaded so I can put one out tomorrow night oh, and then I've got a Monday I'll be back out on the boat again I'll make some boat videos and then I'll be back on the fishing videos again <laughs> the rest of the weekend I've got 20 people back in so appreciate that Yeah, that's what I feel like at the moment, Martin. That's Chisel Beach, I feel like that's all of a sudden just bang and all these big waves are coming in. Do have to be really careful. I hope everyone appreciates, you know, really think about what you're doing with the water because all of a sudden that can just come up and knock you over. So we've got wind, but we haven't really got no other reason why these are coming in like this. Oh, we got 
Andy Tigger coming over to say hello. Hello everyone. We've managed to get it back on. Oh no. Just didn't. saying that was a bit dangerous earlier on to yeah. stand down there. Still can't work out why these waves are coming in. Uh, why they're so big. <laughs> probably that fish and get caught up on that crawling. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have a chance to get the other side of the wood in a little while and yeah. go to fish properly again. Even just out there, but that's, they're big waves, aren't they? They're still coming over this sometimes. Yeah, 20 odd back in, I think. Yeah. You've been watching the old Sterling Wars, they're getting white in the mountain. Yeah. In the match. Oh. That's nice, they're catching food fish. I had to start up another live thing. I couldn't get back with the other one. some fish in a little while, we just got to be able to get out of there a bit further, I think. Could have been, but could have been anything as well, though. Could have been a nice bass or a codlin or anything. Yeah. Green. Green, That's Liam. How you doing, Liam? You saying hello to you? Oh, hi, Liam. You all right? Bit of an awkward one for me tonight because I can't really show the rods. Yeah. All the ties like this. It's the only place I can get a. Yeah. That was literally the only place I could get a signal. Yeah, that's spot on. They're saying this. They'd rather us be safe and stand oh, down yeah. there trying to entertain people to. Spot on. Got a bit nip and tuck, did not it? <laughs> did come well you can see where it comes to look where it's yeah. wet it literally touched the back of your rod rest yeah rod rest it would have been alright up there yeah good job we done that oh, I reckon on a stormy your, night your channel is called adventures you know oh yeah that's what it's all about <laughs> got a whole squid on this one down here and then that one's just a little scratchy one with two little bits of worm on Start out there, look. Yeah. <laughs> it's unreal. Yeah. I think I was quite calm when we got here. That's what I don't understand. Oh, the sun. Not unless there's something here that chuck them up. Yeah, that barrier thing seemed to be stopping the waves a bit now because it's yeah. gone below it, hasn't it? So yeah. it's helping a bit. But they're still getting past, aren't they? Oh, certainly. There's no way I see ships going past doing that, is it? Too far out, wasn't it? They'd put some brakes up, but not. Yeah. <laughs> it's got wild adventures. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this one is definitely. We like to make it fun, but we've got to keep it safe as well. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long now. And the water will be the other side of the wood and then we'll get down there on the beach again with the rod rests we'll start pulling in some more fish well, that's the plan anyway <laughs> yep spot on Martin Stand the sea can be a funny old yep. place don't turn your back to it Anything Broken can happen. Likes when you slide down the bank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd much rather go in the lake and fall in here. Oh, yeah. That'd be cold. <laughs> that wind coming down there is quite chilly, isn't it? But yeah, it's got a nip to it. Yeah. That's a northerly, I reckon. Isn't it?
Come on, Tide, go down. <laughs> I've actually got a line around that post look. <laughs> Excuse me. You know it. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Gary. You know I'll be out there doing plenty more lives, so I'll make up for that one. <laughs> but we ain't done yet. We'll still get some fish in a little while. You never know, we might pull out a big one tonight with this sort of state of the sea. Yeah. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what I was like down there tonight, but probably not like this. Well, here yeah, would have been all right, wouldn't it, River? I remember that day when I went out filming and filmed a massive storm up here. And I fished last off that night and that was flat calm. Crazy. Yeah, hi Martin, you are right. How you doing with your neck, mate? We'll do last off again fairly soon, Stefan. We're gonna have to have a day or so's rest, like I said, now and do some editing and some work on the computer, get some vi videos up. Yes, yeah, I don't mind the old Norwich mate, they're all right. <laughs> I mean, we've lived up here for 12, 12 years now, we? 12 years we've been up here. Not well, actually here, now. but yeah, up here. Yeah, north. well, <laughs> long straight, weren't we, and that? Yeah, yeah, I'm not really. I used to go in the 70s, mate, but I ain't been a good one. Up here. <laughs> Thanks to the Ritzlers, they were lovely. Are they Ritzlers? No, not Ritzlers, are they? Ritz, 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 <laughs> Ritz biscuits. Ritz yeah. biscuits, Joe, they were lovely. I've been tucking into the hot chocolate while I've been sitting back. <laughs> that was nice. So, Ian asked why they didn't go. Well, what didn't go? trying to bring different places to the channel. I like to go to new places as much as possible. This is a hot spot for smooth hands in the summer, so you'll see us here in the summer next year. For the biggest smooth hands, you know. feel bad on the camera at that angle, but I can't really put a rod there. Not quite. I stuck well, away the beach there and I took the sand away, look. Yeah. Made a dip. It weren't like that before. No. That was smooth, wasn't it? Because that's good, it got the wood, that rolled right up a bit, don't it? Yeah. Than this, eh? <laughs> we come all the way down the coast and we spotted here, we never fished here, so we thought we'd give it a go. We 
because my last bridge was lower stop there. Carl's done lower stop here and river several times. Yeah, three, done two or three times in the last month or so, yeah. isn't it? It's a good spot, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I might have a railing on this left hand one. Let's have a railing and see if we can show some fish. Yeah. <laughs> Right around that post, but I'll should be able to sort it out now. I'm gonna get close enough. Right, see if I can get you all a fish. Oh, that's well dug in. I'm managing to stand in front of the wood here, just. Still got water going across my feet. That's not a problem. I can get up to my knees as I if that's okay. But I don't want it up to my neck. <laughs> I've got something on by the feel of things. You're in the post. You better come down here now. Careful, metal. Watch out. Feels like we're bringing something in. I feel a knock, 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 knock. I see a fish. Really? Another one of them. Unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> yep, not on that one. Get it back out there, we should be able to start catching now, I reckon. Yeah. Cool, my bottom hook length is right knotted up. Right, there's a fish on there spinning in. That's so bad, I'm probably going to have to cut it off and put another hook length on it. I don't know, I might get it now, I've got it. I'm pretty good at getting the old tangles out, even when they look like they're never going to come out. <laughs> Yeah, that's all twisted up, but there's definitely a fish on that. But we've got one here anyway. Okay, so first cast back out, and we're straight back in the fish. Whee! <laughs> and we're dropping them as we normally do, and that's disappeared on me. <laughs> Bear with me. Oh my god. <laughs> I know I have trouble holding them normally, but this one's going mental. Another Rockland, but a big old beast. That's not a bad fish for a run, is it? <laughs> Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
That's got quite rough. Wee! <laughs> Doesn't want to be held, this fish. It's going mental. Try and show you the other side. There you go. It's a big old rock, isn't it? Look at the, how chunky it is. Never had a night where I've caught, well, I've never had a day or night or ever caught this many rockling in one day. It's pretty crazy. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, so not too bad. Good start again. Let's get it back out there and let's see what else is down there. At least they're not all white and it's nice to catch some other stuff. But I'd like to get hold of a bass or a codlin or something now, so let's fish it hard. Let's get some whole squid out, some small baits on the other rod and see what we can get. As soon as I get a chance to get you right in front of a rod, I'll put a rod rest right in front of you so you can watch a rod. You put the red tip on it and you'll be back in business. So that's five rockland in one session. Pretty crazy. <laughs> I used to get the odd one. I don't even think I've had two in one session, let alone five. Right, let's get some worm baits for this rod. Oh, that wind's definitely picking up. I think it was Roger that said that. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's pushing down the beach. But it doesn't matter as long as we're catching fish and it's safe to catch them. <laughs> that's all that matter. Alright, so we've got black log on top, black log on the bottom. And I'm going to better whack it back out. Right, I'm going to attempt to bring a rod rest down here now. I've got to say, the tide's going out, so. I'm going to attempt to move back down a bit, I think we'll be alright.
Can you see that road rust? Can if I light it up, can you? You've been using your light. You've been using your light. <laughs> No. Yeah, if you didn't use that well. I was going to say, how's that? But I can see that's no good. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> How's that? You can see a rod now, can't you? Is that better? It's about as much as I dare go near the water with the power packs and lights at the moment. I might still get a rug wave and soak them, but I'll do my best. I'm getting another rod down there as well.
catch some fish. Let's catch some fish. It's rough out there, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, I've got a little green light for the other rod. It's a new thing I'm going to try out, never used one before. Let's see what it's like. It's meant to clip onto the top of the rod, so let's give it a go. It's like an isotope thing. Bring that rod right down and we'll see if we can put it on there. They're only cheap, so I thought I'd get one and try it. Miss Waterside treated me to it today. Let's see if that's actually any good. It's not even well. <laughs> Don't think that's even thin enough to actually clip onto the rod. It was a bit silly. I wish I have cracked the isotope on it as well. Yeah, you've got no chance of getting that. Well, I don't know. Sorry about that, everybody. God, we're having a nightmare tonight, aren't we? That time your phone went flat. <laughs> I'll win, that's all happening tonight. It's plugged into the power pack as well, but the power pack went dead. And I didn't realise that was low, so I had to go and get the other power pack. <laughs> right, hopefully you can see a couple of rods now. We've got lights showing up rods, we've got tips on the top of the rods. So you should be able to see what's going on. Just let me know if you've got a good picture and you can hear what I'm saying. And hopefully I'll start catching your food fish. We're doing all right. We're on 12 Whiten and five Rockland. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, and it? it's been a really rough night. Sorry about that, everyone. It's all happening tonight, everything's just been a pain. The green tip rod's popping up and down there a bit. I think that might just be the waves, but something might have slack lined it. We should start pulling into a few fish now. Well, I have been all night really, to be honest, but you better see me get a few now, hopefully. And I'll be the other side of that wood, probably in the next half an hour. Something like that, I need the waves to go down a bit more as yet, but at least we can stand there and fish now. Without thinking that a wave is going to come over and wash us over. <laughs> so, let's fish hard. And see if we can pull something nice out. Now, still in the same place, just moved down from the cliff, back down towards the wood.
can see how windy it is, it's actually blowing the camera around, isn't it? Which we don't want. Hi Biggin, how you doing? Um, well, we're trying to get some cod in the bass. It would be nice, but we're going to fish for whatever we can get bites on. But we've had 12 whiting and five rocklands so far. And then the tide went absolutely crazy and started smashing over the top of the barriers and we had to go and hide up the top of the beach near the cliff. But we're now starting to come back down the beach again and should start pulling a few more fish. Just put two rods out in front of you, which you can see. I've got one over to the right with a whole squid on it. You can't see. And let's see what we can pull in. Look at the old foam washing up down the beach. I don't know if you can see that, actually. Yeah, look at that, look. See that foam? That's weird, isn't it? If we put that there, you can sort of see the beach and still just see the tips, can you? Is that okay? Is that... A nice spot for the picture so you can still see water, but you can also see tips. Like that green one's bouncing around. That's literally the wind pushing that camera back like that. <laughs> it's quite rough. The head on me mount is a bit, as you can see. We do need to get a new one, but can't afford one right now, so it's going to have to hold on a little bit. You should be able to see what's going on. Yeah, at the moment, anything that comes along, but... You can see how hard them waves are hitting that. Rod with a green tip, can't you? Absolutely whacking it up and down. Or is that a bite? I'm not sure actually. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. No, I think that's just the waves because they're so fierce that's whacking the line. Still trying to get over them defences then waves. <laughs> They're just not quite large enough now to come flying in. Just breaking the wall every now and again. Well I've got one doing that as well though, but the waves are whacking them, aren't they? Look how big some of them waves are out there. Tighten it up, see if there's anything there, or strike it and find out, you never know. Well, I'm definitely getting knocked around with the L. You watch my green tip one. Slowly getting just down the edge there now, aren't it? Yeah. bits of foam flying up the beach, look. Yeah. Bits of foam coming off the waves and yeah. flying up the beach. Let you lot keep an eye on the two there. I'm going to bring a whole squid one in, see what's going on on that. So it's been out there a while. I don't want to get buried or 10 ton of weed on it, so I can't reel it in. Oh, that was well in there. That's come out. Any 
trouble. These defences are so tall, I can't actually see over them to see what's going on. Just a bit of a pain, especially when you're trying to land a fish. We haven't got anything on this rod, so we haven't even got any bait on it either. So. Let's go get something on it. Right, let's get this one out there. I'm gonna whack this one right out there. Let's see what I produce. That was a good, I don't know, 90, 100 yards, something like that. It was a good whack. Let's leave it sitting there for a bit. I'll keep an eye on it. Hope help produce the fish. What's happening on these other two then? Just tighten the tips up. Gone a bit quiet in there, has it? <laughs> I ain't been so entertaining tonight, have I? It's been a bit too dodgy. I'm obviously knackered as well, as you know, from I was out half of last night. I got about four hours sleep and I was up again. Oh, nice bite on the red tip rod. You probably saw that. The rockling are coming on black lug, frozen black lug. Strange thing is, out in front of us, it's all sand. So, why is there rockland there? They're normally in the rocky, you know, rocky marks, isn't they? Hence why they're called rockland. Unbelievably still rough out there, but 
least we've got three rods out now. Should start producing a few fish. To be honest, I'm struggling to keep myself awake. <laughs> My eyes don't want to know, they want to go to sleep, but. Looks said to Andy Tigger I'll go out and that's what I'm doing. We're doing alright, like I say we've had 12 white and 5 rockland. So that's not a bad session so far, is it? At least we're getting some fish. But a bonus bass or codlin or something like that would be good. <laughs> Change, yeah, exactly. You never know, do you? Strange, isn't it? But I normally, you know, I get the odd rockling over the year. To be fair, not in the winter though. <laughs> normally catch them in the middle of summer when there's nothing else about. Whereas tonight they're coming in, you know, like they're out there feeding. But there's obviously whiting about. I won't be surprised if there's some other stuff out there as well. Wind's a bit of a pain, It'll get around your face and your neck, it's quite cold. Pretty sure I switched around to a Norvely, which I'd rather not have, but. Oh, sounds good. Whereabouts are going to last off? On the pier, down the river, North Beach, South Beach. There's lots of places in Lowestoft. Behind birds I oh yeah, yeah, I know you are. I could get this to stay still, but it's so windy. It doesn't want to sit in the right place. <laughs> no, you should do okay. I'd be very surprised if you don't get a whiten. <laughs> but you might well get a codling. That's what it's all about. What baits are you taking? Everyone's gone quiet. Woohoo, look at that for a bite. <laughs> 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 
everyone saw that. I hope whatever it is, come back again. That was a proper fun one. That one no white bite. Blinked. <laughs> Go back and look at that. It was a hell of a bite. Right hand rod, green tip. Thump down. Bit more. <laughs> Is Andy Tigger giving the old thumbs up? Look. You're fishing big baits mainly, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get a dolphin or a shark. Yeah. <laughs> Is that? Oh. There we go. We just had a good bite on the right hand rod there. Yeah. There we go again, look. Yeah. I'm not sure where it's rig is on that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, it's going to dive down. Oh, over there. <laughs> Look, it's yeah. down here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then one's down there as well. Yeah. No. Then people behind us will give up. Yeah. Unless they're back on the beach. <laughs> you had enough already, have you? No. <laughs> no, I'm glad to be out, mate. I'm nagged, but <laughs> I'm plodding along. Someone just put in the chat us 26 mile an hour winds. That's why it's chilly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's come straight down the beach here, aren't it? Yeah. Or in our face, I guess, isn't it? Finally, stay on that side. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Name, yeah, that's getting chilly. You got any coffee left then? Yeah, I've got yeah. it. Yeah. All yours, sir? Nah, I've still got a cup right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit quieter in there now. We've got 24 in. Two people chatting. Oh, what? 40 mile an hour winds tomorrow, is there? Yeah. It's not nice. <laughs> we're, well, getting, we're getting the beginning of it, aren't we? I suppose it's turned wet and windy again. Yeah, it? lovely. <laughs> Hi Matthew, how you doing? Yeah, that was a good bite last night, wasn't it? <laughs> did you rewind and have a look, did you? It's definitely a big ray, I reckon. You 
you've got no chance of going out there on the boat. <laughs> I won't even try. Be nice. That's the right sort of weather out there. <laughs> Definitely. Hot, cold. Then you had that nice on earlier, didn't you? Yeah. So I got hooked up on the board. Yeah. So far we've had 12 Whiten and 5 Rocklin. We had to do a second stream because the first stream, the sea went absolutely crazy. There was waves, don't know how high, but they were going above my head, crashing over the sea defences. I got soaked. We had to move right up to the cliffs so we didn't get washed off a beach. That was pretty crazy. Nice. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? What, what happened? I've had some pretty strange bites in my time. My rods have been dragged down the beach. I've had them pulled along a river. I lost a really big ray on the riverside of Galston Pier. While in the double figures, I saw it come up onto the surface. And then it went ping. It's in one of my videos. lost some good rays at Dunnage. Strange, it seemed to be the rays that do that to me. But I've also had some nice big fish. Can't complain, I've had loads of nice bass this year. Had some big white in this winter. I've had some big trout, some decent bream, some big roach. Strange fish like koi and stuff like that in the freshwater fishing. There's some nice big carp at the beginning of the year. Quite a few in a session. I think I remember a session where I had nearly 50 carp in one day. We've had a fun year. Definitely had me share a fish. Is that bad? I can't move the camera from where it is because signal here is absolutely terrible and I found a spot where it's not going off so I'm doing my best to keep you there.
going to give them a couple more minutes. Definitely seeing bikes on the right hand rod. The green tip one we're watching. So hopefully we've got a fish on there. Be nice we've got two. I can't remember what rig is on which now. <laughs> oh. I'm going to get a mouthful of hot chocolate and I'm going to have a reel in. Oh, nice warm hot chocolate. I need that. <laughs> it's pretty chilly out here tonight. That's mainly because I'm not moving around as much as I would be normally. Things are starting to brighten up a bit because the moon's managing to get through the clouds a little bit, so it's lighting things up. Right there. Let's bring in the green tip rod because we saw a load of bites on that, didn't we? Let's see if we got a fish. We almost get the other side of the wood, man. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's dug in well. But there's something on there, that's for sure. Oh, my little green tip just fell off. But I managed to grab hold of it. <laughs> then I need taping on to make it stay on. I said that come off when I'm reeled in, didn't I? Very heavy, but could have a load of weed on there as well. Can see a small fish. Can see another fish. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, look at that big old white. That's a big one. And another Rockland, that's unreal. Oh, 
look straight out, no problem. We're still going live. We ain't lost signal or nothing. No, that's good. Hopefully you saw some fish coming in then. Here's Mr. White and I just brought in. Look at that. Not Lovely jubbly. Don't mind if it were them. Cool, look how wind swept my face is. It's bright red from that wind. Yeah, lovely wine. Look at that. Whee. I was going to show you the other side. It's now covered in sand. <laughs> Whoop. Go back on the other side again. Yeah, lovely fish. Pretty nice. Let's get it back. Got one more on the stand that you were watching, which is a Rockland. I'll show you that in a sec, and we'll carry on. Cheers, Martin. Thanks very much. Should start to show you a few fish now. It's the plan, anyway. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find some bass or codlin or something like that, but lovely. Right, so we've got another Rockland here, but it's got a slight difference to this one. Some people will know, some people won't. But I shall show you now. This one, and while you can see, if you look at the little beards, this one's a five beard. It's got two up the top, two down the bottom, and one underneath. Hard to see them all, I've actually missing one of them, but there's two there. One up the top there, there should be another one up this side at the top. And then the little one underneath. But you can see four of them, can't you? Whereas all the other ones I've been having are the three bearded ones. So it's slightly different this one. Whee! That's it, five bearded rock. So the other ones are three bearded. Another half decent sized fish. Don't know why they're so big at the moment. They're full, they've been eating, they're you know, chunky fish. And pretty good. So let's get it back. Let's see if we can get some more stuff. Because it's happening again now. Yeah, it can be a bit ugly if you don't like that sort of thing. But it's pretty good. At least we're catching some fish. And we're not getting smashed by big huge waves. <laughs> Oh, that water's cold. I've got white sitting down here, but it's not looking too good, which is why I put it in that pool. If that doesn't make it, I'll grab it and put it with the other one we got. We'll be having it for dinner. You know I don't keep many, but if they're not going to make it, it's pointless, isn't it?
Ooh. Ooh, right. Let's get rebated. Shall come down here and do. Pull some bait down with me now, you can probably see. Chop some of these big old black lug in half. Get them back on, let's catch some more fish. Got a seven ounce weight on tonight. The whole bottom out there. Just gives you an idea how rough it is. Oh, I just snapped the hook right in my hands. It's a lot of good, isn't it? <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, sort out the top one there. These rigs are getting a bit spun up. The I think the rock and stuff when they're coming in, they're spinning. I'm gonna have to sort out these hook lengths again. I think remake the rigs. <laughs> Don't need the hassle. Just want to get the bait back in the water. Fighting against the tip of the rod as well, which is not helping. <laughs> Finally, that one's sorted. Don't really want to put it out with one hook on there. Just going to grab a little hook. Tie another hook onto Ooh, getting low on the old little hooks. I was in the bay tackle shop today as well. Could have grabbed a pack. Didn't know to be honest. Alright, let's get this one on. Your case of just cutting the link off on the bottom one and tying another hook. Put the old hook in my pocket. Oh, like so. Tie this one on. Shouldn't take any more than 30 seconds to whip a new hook on a snood or something. If you tie your own rigs and that, a lot of people just buy their rigs, but you'll find if you tie your own, you can adjust them to how you want them. You will definitely catch more fish. Easy as that. Spikes up on their weight. Come and grab a piece of lug. What we are now, we're on six Rockland, 13 white, aren't we? That's where we are. Go on top one, don't get tangled. No good to me. Untangle, there we go. Right, that tide is definitely going down the other side of that wood now. We had to get around there soon, but we'll have a few more casting up here first. Don't want to get soaked still.
hitting these out sort of 800 yards at the moment. You need to get past these big old breaking waves to find the fish still. And pull them right round to the right, that's the only trouble. A bit of a pain, but... That's the only way of doing it at the moment. Go tight. There we go. The eyes took my pocket, I know, but not much I can do about it. Right, let's bring in the red one. See if we've got anything on there. It's in a few little taps. Oh. Feels okay. I put back down in the gully a minute ago, it's gone for a swim. The water will drain out there soon though, so there won't be much in there. Alright, see some fish coming. Get this over the other side. Oh, what have we got this time? Just the one. Still good. Oh, there's still some big waves out there. Oh, still another fish. We've only been cast out 10 15 minutes again, haven't we? We're still getting fish every time. Oh, Mr. Whiten. Hopefully, he ain't been there too long so we go back, right? This is all spun up as well. It's annoying the way they come in spinning, especially when I put swivels and stuff on them so they don't spin. Oh, I just took this one down well, but I've got a knack hand of getting hooks out of fish. <laughs> People always say to me, hey, do you get them out just like that? Just took so many out, I suppose. Right. How's everybody doing? This is the one I just reeled in. Nothing too crazy, it's not too pounder or nothing, but. <laughs> and there's still, what, three fish in one cast of two rods. So, pretty cool. Got 60 rigs prepared of it. <laughs> nice. You do well to use them in one, in one day. If you do, then you've got a nasty snag out there. Yeah, it's good, Martin. It's the best way to do it. It's best to make your own rigs. Much more satisfaction catching fish on your own rigs as well. I don't buy rigs. No. <laughs> Fourteen white and six rockland, are we? Nice. And they're putting this one back. Rig out. Mega spinned up tangle. Shouldn't take two seconds there. Let's get on with this middle one. Not too much, just need to. Quick wind round. Made me laugh how these make loops and stuff. Don't know how they do that out in the water. Get 
Come on, let me pull a hook and stuff for it. Stop being a pain. Nearly that bad with me. Sort the bottom one out. Oh, got a knot. What's going on here? That's going to be a pain. It's tied itself in a knot around the bottom of the middle of the swivel. This doesn't make it. <laughs> Very easy to get any slack on it. The reason we're getting all these little knots and stuff is because the tide is so rough at the moment. It's making it very hard to fish. But if you can get out in enough distance, you can catch fish like I am. And if we're lucky enough, something big is going to come along. Right, let's get some wine back on there. It's one. Some of these worms are massive. Two. Three. If you get your blacks in the right place and shop around until you find a supply of nice big ones you can cut your blacks into three or four worms quite often on your small hook rods so even though you're using one worm I know you get ten but you're not really because if you're cutting into four you're getting forty aren't you and you've seen my videos black lug frozen or fresh catches fish Two hooks rebated. Let's get the top one done. Let's get it back out there and let's get some more fish. Hopefully. Like guts and stuff all over me. <laughs> and I've left the towel up top there, which I'll bring down in a little while. Right. I'm surprised we've had a bite on the other rod now. And let's get this one out. Find some more fish with it. Pretty good. Went pretty much far enough where I wanted it. Let's see if we can get some bites. Let's not see, I'm pretty sure we will. Just gonna go and check me other riders behind the camera. for a little while now. 
find out and see what's happening. I'm getting big rogue waves smashing over the top of my head on these sea defences now. Side's actually starting to go down a fair bit now. But still not good to go around the other side yet because the waves are still coming right up the beach. Alright, I'm going to bring this one in just in case. I did see a couple of little tap tap taps but which I'll see in a minute. Trouble with this rod is that's got really big hooks on. I've got black lug on here, but uh, I've got five O's on, so we can be bringing in many little rockland or whiting with this rod. Feels pretty good. Can't see what's going on. I need to get this. That's quite heavy, so I'm going to bring this around the front here. I'm going to dip under the wood because this feels quite good. I don't think it's weird. across the gully without getting soaked. There's a big gully right in front of us and it's got really deep water in it. <laughs> oh. Right. What have we got on here? I'm pretty sure we've got a fish. It's really heavy if we in. <laughs> what it is, yeah, I don't know. We'll do now. So Mr. White and quite a chunk as well. Get away with going around there a bit now. It's be saying these big old hooks don't pick up a whiting. There's a massive hook on there, but it's picked up this whiting. <laughs> Woo. I've been a pain. Mr. Whiten, that's not a bad size. It's covered in sand now. That's why I took the bigger hook because it's a bigger fish, but it's not what I was going for on that rod, but I don't mind as long as they're that sort of size. Quite happy to get a few of the bigger ones. The other side's a bit sandy and stuff, but. We're on a sandy beach, not much I can do. As long as we're getting a few fish. <laughs> that slapped me right around the mouth, put a towel in the mouth. Lovely. <laughs> no, I don't use braid. Just mono. I can't believe that fish <laughs> literally put his tail in my mouth. Could have done without that. <laughs> the one I put in the gully down in front of me, don't look like it's made it. Got me hands, I need to throw it back far enough to get it in the water. 
Yeah, I went in. Wobbly jobbly. Which had me towel down there. <laughs> I'm getting covered. I need to go and get it. I think I'm gonna have to go and get it. Because my hands are getting all soggy. It's only up the top here. It'll take me two minutes. Tell. All the dudes will hang us over the. I don't know if it's a bit wet. It's going to hang up here, but. There we do. Right, let's get some bait back on this rod. Get the bag out there. If we're gonna get anything different tonight. Certainly had plenty of the old Rockland, which is definitely different. Nice big juicy. Black lug. Slide the bait stops and stuff down. Clip it up on this one. I don't clip stuff up very often, you're probably seen, only if I need a bit of distance. And I'm putting distance out on this rod just in case there's a stray big fish out there. Right, let's give us a launch. Long now we can go down to the beach again. Should be nice. Could probably put this rod here now, but we'll be better to see it. I don't know. Quite ready for us to come down onto the beach, but not far off. We could call, probably come around here and cast now if we wanted to. You know, the water just cover our boots, sort of thing. Yeah, it won't be very good tonight trying to use braid in this wind. That'd just be not up, that'd be a nightmare.
How's everybody doing then? Keeping on these rods for me? At least the live staying on now. We're not losing signal. It's because I've been able to come away from the cliffs again, you see. You know something you find something slightly different out there. Yeah, maybe a bass or a flatty or something like that. Get a bit of a mixture going. Maybe I should tip some of the blacks that I'm putting out with some squid or something like that. <laughs> Just one of them nights tonight, that was all. Everything went a bit crazy, didn't it? <laughs> Cameras, batteries and stuff going flat. Mega tides and having to hide near the cliffs. Winds turned around the wrong way and it's freezing now. Big waves. Top of me mount, as you can see, is all loose. Needs replacing. Oh, nice, Martin. Bit of pizza would be lovely. <laughs> Can you send me a bit by pigeon post? <laughs> Might be a bit cold by the time I get here, but it could still be good. Yeah, so that, um. Give me a sec. Yeah, chicken sound good as well. <laughs> I've got some nibbles and stuff with me, but no full size meals type things. <laughs> I haven't even brought a sandwich today, which is unusual. I've got plenty of other bits and pieces, and I've even got a nice hot chocolate. So this here, as you can see glowing up, it's meant to clip onto the top of your rod, with the two clips there, as you can see, and obviously show your bites. But my rod's too thick on the sea rod, but I think on a quiver tip or, you know, a ledger rod, freshwater fishing, that'd be ideal. So I'll try that out next time we're on the broads or in a river or somewhere like that and hopefully that will sit there like that till the rod go around and uh, yeah that would show a nice bite I think that would be like literally literally do that wouldn't it so that would be quite cool I think we'll give that a go this one's no good no more but I mean you could put it on the top of your sea rod but you'd have to tape it on I don't like bits of tape and stuff around the top of the rod because the line always find it and then you crack off we don't want to be doing. Hi again, Richard. How you doing? Oh, so you can actually see all three rods. I didn't realise that. Didn't think you can see the other rod. You can even see me tell where I'm wiping my hands and stuff after putting fish back and stuff. <laughs> or baiting up. Yeah, put it in the freezer, you mean? Put it in the freezer. They last longer. Well, 29 thumbs up, which is pretty cool, but nothing like we had last night. But then obviously we messed up on the first live. And we had 40 odd on that one, so... We're in the 70s, really. Yeah, this is pretty much an isotope thing. But it's all built in, so little clips and stuff are on it, so you can't do nothing with it. We've got some normal stylus and stuff as well. Just thought I'd try this one because they actually clip onto the tip of the rod. I do like the battery ones that I use on top of my C rods, so I'll probably carry on using them for the C rods. But I'll probably use these, like I say, in the rivers and lakes and stuff like that. They'd be pretty good, I think. How's it going, cod boats? Isotope last five years. What? 
Am I missing something? <laughs> I thought these were isotopes. Nice bite there on the red tip rod. You should be able to all see that. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, definitely something on there. I'm going to leave it because I've got two hooks on there, so let's see if we can get that one on there as well. Oh, that's bouncing away, that. Nice to sit there and see a bite in it. See if we can get that picture a little bit better. Yeah, this is a chemical, right? you have to bite it and then shake it up. Oh, the old red tip's definitely got a lovely bite on it. It's not like a four pound bass or nothing, it's just got a nice bite. It's probably a smaller fish. Yeah, I'll have to have a look into these isotopes and see if that's something I can use. Could be another Whiten, could be another Rockland. <laughs> Could be something totally different. Cool, it's a lovely bite, whatever it is. It could be two on there, can it? Nice eight hour session, that's what I like to hear. Proper day's work. <laughs> what did you catch in? Anything good? Where you been? Oh, what? And they're good, is it? <laughs> Are you going for cod? It's a pain when you put the hours in and, and sometimes they don't pay off. How you doing, Michael? Still there, are you, Stefan? <laughs> You know me, are. You know me, one of the last ones to go. You know me, hold right on. And he's over on his side. He's a bit quiet at the moment. I think he's fishing bigger baits, so he's not bringing in the amount of fish like me, sort of thing. What I could see earlier on, I think he's got a whole squid on one. He might have a whole squid on both rods. Or squid and blacks, you know, that sort of stuff. We're in a good area for a you know, chance of a big fish. Wonder if it's chemical light would be good for squid. <laughs> Make them look, wouldn't
Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I'd love to do a trip and go off some squid. I've never caught a squid or even tried to catch a squid before. But I wouldn't really know where to go to. Still something going on with that red tip rod. Yeah, I wouldn't really know where to go to try and catch them. The little jigs and stuff you have to buy to, to do it. Don't cost a lot, do they? Obviously, the massive travel I'd have to do, it should be hours. So they'll fill the cost a bit, but... Oh, that red tip rod's getting a really good bite, isn't it? <laughs> Glow worm. I've used the, like, the glow up silicone bead type things in freshwater fishing before. You charge them up with a lot of torch before you cast out. That's meant to help them find a bait, but can't say that makes much difference to be honest. Maybe I should put this on the stem of the weight. Oh yeah, I could quite easily glue it on. But I don't really want to light like this put back on there, so I'd have to break back off tomorrow, you know, to reuse it next time. I might as well just use the battery lights that I normally use. Slide them off when I don't need to put them on, slide the new ones on when, I, when I'm ready to go, you know, when you change your batteries. Yeah, I'll check out the old isotopes tomorrow. I'll get a chance. Got that old wind's getting cold. <laughs> Yeah, it's been some massive squid caught. I've seen on Facebook, Facebook, yeah, Facebook groups and stuff like that. I've seen some like over four pound squid caught. Massive great things. They're quite impressive. What on earth is that? Something just flew across the sky above me. <laughs> Don't know what it was. Some kind of small animal. Yeah, I know, nasty northerly wind. <laughs> I reckon the northerly winds up here bring on the cod, but we shall see, won't we? on the red tip rodder still tapping away I think yeah we we'll really see what's happening over there on the white tip one let's have a look yeah you want to try and tug out the way of a normally wind normally this is pretty cold <laughs> 
Oh, look at the red tip. I'm gonna have to go against all that, won't I? Oh. I think something's there. You can literally get right down on the beach now. Fish on. Big wave, stop knocking my rod about, my rig about. Oh, lovely jubbly, two more fish. Walk down the beach now. You can walk down there quite a bit now. Well, we certainly saw the bites off these ones, didn't we? That's for damn sure. <laughs> that rod was bouncing up and down. Oh yeah, Australia's TV. How you doing? Good timing. So we've got another Mr. Whiten. Which we should all send the bites on that red tip rod bouncing around. And then we've got an even bigger one. Which is quite a clonker. Look at that. Nervy jubbly. Don't mind a few of them, do we? Don't know why there ain't nothing else there, though. It's got quite a belly on this one, doesn't it? Look at that. <laughs> nice fish. Spinning round, shall we? Oh, it's starting to jump around now. Yeah, it's quite a decent sized fish, that is. Don't mind that. Yeah, I know there's some shouts coming. Don't need them. Right, spin you around. Get you back on the rods. Get these two back in. See if we can find some more fish. Not sure what number we're on now. But I'm sure Joe's counting. Yeah. Got to go all the way down here now. So, two more fish. Pretty cool. 
looks like Andy Ticker Fishing is crossing the gully and going down towards the beach. Don't blame him. We probably will on our next cast. Might just do one more. It's light really to pay out, don't we? Alright, what we got left on these rigs? Middle hook's got enough bait on it. Top hook's tangled but can soon be sorted. Bottom hook is bare. Right, let's chop up a worm. These blacks again. Lovely jubbly. bait back on. So the middle one's alright but it's, it's not fresh, let's put a fresh bit on there. favourite Christmas tree rig as I call it, it's doing a business again tonight, always does. Whip the spikes over, oh. wipe your hands quickly and we'll go down on the beach and cast this one out and get some more distance. Not that we need it, we're getting plenty of fish anyway. <laughs> But you never know. Right, just gonna pop down to the beach. Put it out even further on what I've been doing from right up here, because obviously the tide's going down now. Yeah, what I meant about. Hmm, I'm gonna try what I said about putting the isotope on the stem of the weight. Find it. <laughs> Not doing nothing sitting in my pocket, so that's probably small. Yeah, do it goes on there nicely. All right, we now have a nice. I don't know how well you can see that from over there. Well, I've now got it clipped to the weight. Whether it's going to stay there is a different thing, but it's worth a go, isn't it? Well out there, we walk down the beach, give it a good old hit, should get us a bite without any problems. Well, we're out and about really in, let's see what's happening on this one, shall we? Pull them right round to the right, if there's any trouble. 
bit of a pain to keep having to pass them over here, but... Oh. Whew. Got anything on here? Feels quite nice. We could just be dug right in. Windy here, Danny. Another fishy. Here's the one then. Black lug. It's even windier down there, isn't it? Well, it's fast and furious now, isn't it? Every cast. We good. That'll go back nicely. Another half. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's whack it back and let's keep getting some more. Hopefully, we'll get a change of fish. Wind's becoming nasty, it's cold. Whoa. Take one of the big white and I put down in the gully out. Hasn't made it so I can go in a bag with the other one from earlier. I'm not gonna waste it. And that'll either be dinner or bait at some point. Oh. 
struggling to get the old body to move. <laughs> Still really tired from all last week's sessions. And obviously I've done a live all last, last, yeah, last night as well. I didn't go to bed till about half four. <laughs> and I was up again at eight. Really rough. 30, 40 mile an hour, I reckon we got down here. It's not nice. But well, we still got some bait. Fair bit. So we'll keep having a few more classes yet. score is now but I reckon I'm over 20 fish must be 15 16 white and plus and seven rock like that be pretty chuffed if I can pick up a bass or something like that or even a codlin Probably not using big enough baits on this one for that, but then I've had them on these sort of hooks and baits before. To be honest, I catch them better on the smaller baits than I do when you put a big bait out for a card, to be honest. So. Oh, he's going everywhere, these lines. I pull them right over to the right, so let's swap this rod over. Wind! I hope it's not really bad on the mics, because that's terrible out here. Night Robert, cheers coming in. Oh, 
Oh no, it's raining now as well. That's not good. Really don't want that. <laughs> it's turning into a bit of a nightmare session. Rain will definitely spoil it. gonna say we'll sort of do 12 one o'clock but if I start raining I won't carry on for that <laughs> I hate it when it's pouring in rain especially when you've got a hell of a wind like this that would just blast it in my face we've got a bite on the old red tip rod anyway really don't want this rain. Bivy up now, obviously, so you can still see. <coughs> but so the camera deer don't get wet. We've had to replace it quite a few times already. <laughs> Mics and stuff like that. I don't want to be doing that again anytime soon. <laughs> I've only just done it again. Way! Just need to stand up for long. It's just blowing my head off. Oh, God, Jesus. It's becoming unbelievable. I must admit. <laughs> Wind's nasty. Sorry about that flapping in front of your screen there. It's literally blowing my head off. Oh, this, this ain't working. What is going on? I am fighting like mad here with the bivy, which is why I keep covering your picture. These winds are crazy. I can't even get it set up. I bet the sound quality is terrible, isn't it? Oh, come on, give me some shelter. How on earth? Put a massive rock stand on the bivy and that's just blowing them off like uh, pebbles. <laughs> Nothing worse than getting 10 ton of wind and a load of rain when you're trying to fish. Oh, 
house. You can probably hear I'm getting a bit fed up with it. <laughs> Wind's blowing my head off. Can't keep the bivy down where I want it. Trying to pile it up with a load of rocks. And the wind is just laughing at me. Oh, it's crazy. Oh. No, it just blew the whole thing back over. Unbelievable. I think if I was on my own, I'd have just packed up. I think that's actually doing my head in. Got an ice cold wind in my face. And yeah, just trying to put the bivy up. Rocks all over it. That's just laughing at me. It's just blowing straight back off. And they ain't little rocks. <laughs> I'm talking about boulder rocks. That doesn't want to know. Sometimes. You just can't do what you got to do, can you? <laughs> Why? <laughs> just absolutely silly. Bivy 99% of the time is a really good bivy, but sometimes when it's raining and windy, that can be a pain. But I've looked at other ones and I don't like other ones. <laughs> I like this one. Alright, I've got half a mountain around the edge now. What else we can do? Whew. Oh, you are kidding me. It's not happening. Wind is crazy. on the beach. Right. You're probably here and getting a bit fed up. <laughs> it's literally blowing my head off. You can probably see where the Rod tips, how windy it is, bounce all over the place. Don't know how the sound is good with this wind. It's absolutely howling. Let me unplug it and show you.
Let's do that time. While I can, while the mics are still lasting. But they're not going to go too much longer either. They're on red. Yeah, you're spot on there, Martin. Cool. That's been a nightmare. And I don't help, but I'm absolutely knackered as well. Just dragging myself about, just trying to reel in. And <laughs> I've still got to walk all the way along the beach and up a cliff to the car as yet. Which I ain't looking forward to. Got a lovely boy on the orange ship right over there, though. Oh! Did you? Yeah. Nice. Oh. I just tried to put my bivvy up, but it's just blowing down the beach. You I just tried to put my bivvy up, but it's crazy. Put all rocks around it and that just took off. I didn't want to know. Up here. Yeah. It's getting rough. Yeah. Yeah, seem to be fine. Yeah, Yeah. 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 That's still a bit rough, and and waves are still big, even though it's going down. Isn't it? It started raining a minute ago, I thought, oh what, that's not good. <laughs> so it stopped again. Huh? Been out of the wind, but it's still been rough sea, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nasty. They're saying 40 mile an hour on there. Bite on there.
stuff is crazy. We know why the sea's got rough now, don't we? Because the weather was behind it. No fish on that one, but we definitely had some big old bites. Probably see by my legs. I'm just pointing the water up to my knees to get a lot more distance. The trouble is when you cast out the wind is so horrific that a ten-ton line just flies out in a big loop. 
really annoying. Getting to the point where it's unfishable, to be honest. Oh, unreal. <laughs> Session is just crazy. Really, really hard work. Like I said before, I was not making it easy because I'm absolutely knackered anyway. But then again, all these weather conditions as well. It's just making it a pain. Probably got a good 40 mile an hour wind now. It's a nasty wind, it's a cold wind. It's blasting along the beach. Yeah, I certainly am, Richard. <laughs> I could quite as easy just take the stuff to the car, curl up and go to sleep. Oh, don't start raining on me again. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely knackered. But I told Andy to fish that I'd come out with him tonight. Well, this afternoon. We've been here since, what, three o'clock? And, you know, do a session with him. So I don't like to let people down. But when I didn't get any sleep last night, only a couple of hours, and I was up again. It was just catching me up. I've, you know, I've had a whole week, probably had a whole month to be honest, like that now. Where I'm not getting much rest. I might just have a couple of days out this next week coming. Where I'll just do editing and put some videos and stuff up. I think I'm already past that, Richard. I'm well past that. <laughs> I'm literally struggling to stand up. <laughs> That's how tired I am. My body's just ready to collapse. Didn't see Miss Waterside in for a while. Take it she's fell asleep or she's gone off watching the film. Oh no, she's still here. <laughs> Didn't seem to put much in lately. Whew.
the game, I assume rods are nodding all over the place. This sea is going to be absolutely crazy tomorrow. With just nasty weather coming in. Tomorrow's high tide will be huge. Lovely, it's now pouring with rain. Huh? <laughs> I can hardly stand up, I'm knackered. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna sleep right now. <laughs> I just snapped my so oh, what? if you went if you went in the water if you went cast a long while you you're probably gonna be in the water. Out of water. Yeah. <laughs> miles down there, mate. Yeah I know. Oh, it's bloody rain, don't want that. Enough, mate, just say. Snacking. <laughs> I'm happy up and out, mate. I've had yeah. six fish, five bites and a rock run, yay! Yeah, at least we caught some fish. Had some good bites and missed them. Had one wrapped round the thing, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Shame my wind has turned around and done that. Oh, it's getting cold, mate. It's, it's nasty, cold. isn't it? <laughs> Down on that beach, mate. Oh, the rain's coming and all. Someone there? Yeah, someone on the point there. Yeah. I've been watching God. Yeah. yeah. I'll pack that rod up and just start slowly packing up. Oh, yeah. Hi everybody in the chat, how are ya? I can see <laughs> Good? No, I'm sorry, it's there. Alright, <laughs> everyone can hear ya. She better hear ya. They are really low, but they ain't off yet. Oh, someone's there. Yeah, they're sounding low to you. Oh, yeah. Who is it? Stefan. Oh, how are you, mate? Got a bite on that one there, mate? Yeah, probably got a white on, right? Yeah, as soon as you put that log on, you get Yeah. No. Can't get her all in Rockland, though. No. That's weird. There's no, no rocks out there. <laughs> no, well, there is, there is some, but is uh, that's like this a bit further out. Right? I can yeah. hear it when I'm coming in. But... Martin saying well done on the fish you had. Oh, look. Oh, cheers, Martin. Can we get here? Four. Yeah, a bit before that. Yeah, but I'll bring one. Probably getting set up before, yeah. Yeah. Been here seven and a half hours, mate. Oh, yeah. Just a bit of a weird bit in the middle there when we had to escape up there, weren't it? <laughs> Don't know what's around there, lighting everything up. There's like an orange glow around there. That's back to gas works. Oh, right. You know the gas works? Yeah. Where all the pipes are and that? That's what it is. They've got all the like, orange lights on top. They sometimes yeah. have a big flame come up out of the pipe. Yeah, they do, yeah. I've seen that before, yeah. yeah. When it's bent and... Yeah. I'm surprised our mics are stopping all this wind, they reckon that's sound good, but yeah. I think that'd sound terrible, wouldn't it? I thought we were having a, a bass or a cob or something, but yeah. they have big bites, but uh, just, it was just unfishable really at that high tide, wasn't it? Yeah. It's not that nice now. The I don't waves know, crashing. When I, when I had that fish on and I got caught in that metal thing, I held in the head and snapped that braid. Yeah. The fish and braid, and the braid normally <laughs> snap quite easy, don't it? Yeah, that's a bit weird. Yeah. We'll have to have a good look at your weather for the next one. <laughs> Yeah, well, I did say to you, I was supposed to get on for midnight, it's supposed to be rain coming in, didn't I? Yeah. Showers, but a couple of heavy ones, you just don't want to get caught in a really 
Nice. Oh, Norse rock on there. The other one, not? Or is that the wind? That could be the wind. What did I? They're both going, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Two more, four more white than me. <laughs> you had a good day, didn't you? Yeah, I don't know what I had, but. You had a poo. You were 13. Last time, Joe put. a while ago. Yeah, Joe put 16 white up and 7. Yeah. Rockland, I think. Yeah, you've had a fair few. Well, I've had a couple more since then. So 13 white and 5 Rockland was the last time I was sailing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a session, isn't it, mate? Yeah. We both caught fish, that's all what matters. I did two sessions where I was blank, and then since then I've caught fish. It's all now picking up, which is good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Better get live next time. Yeah. Oh, that would be funny. This would have been it? nasty, wouldn't yeah. it, in this wind? <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Me live? Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah. We'll go somewhere easy for that one. We'll do a last, last off here trip or something. I have one booer. <laughs> nah, you get people in. My subscribers will come in. Yeah. Alright, you will have to oh, go, go in your sim and troll for bike. <laughs> Mark, Mark, what see someone troll the bike, don't you, Mark? Yeah. God, Jesus. <laughs> that wind. Oh, is that light on the water and not on the beach? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, start bringing the foo in then. First time.
don't know if you can hear me, but the old isotope stayed on the weight. Or the chemical light, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and we've got a fish on the bottom one. One on that one. <laughs> Wee. Yeah. This could be the last fish of the night, everyone. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Mild and not breezy here, it always is then, lowest off in Boston area. Up here we get these nasty winds. There you go, wee. Normal stuff, jumping at me hands. Cheers, Mr. Whiten. Not a bad sort of fish. Pretty good for... Oh. <laughs> I can hardly talk. Look how burnt my face is from wind burn. This wind out is nasty. I see him blowing the fish tail around it. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Whiten. I brought two rods in now. And they're going to bring the last one in. So we're uh, getting some nice size Whiten. We'll probably get plenty of these all night if I stayed. But I'm so knackered. I'm going to have to call it and bring in the last rod. <sighs> I need to have a rest. <laughs> Sorry. We've got one more rod to bring in. Let's hope we've got a fish on there. Get this one put back. Just quite a walk down the beach now. <laughs> it's raining on me, which I don't really want. I've got to get all my gear from up the top near the cliff and bring it all down onto the beach before I put it on the trolley. I would most weather as you know but this is not very nice. I'm sat in minus six and that's been warm on this to be honest. <laughs> so that rain hold off just a little bit longer. Got one more rod to bring in. Let's see if we can get one more fish to end the session. Oh, my back. Oh, I can hardly move.
then again. It's not a bad end, two fish. Some people up on the top of the cliff looking down at us. I don't know if you can hear me when I'm right down the beach like that. You probably can't because there's a long way down. We've got two more fish. Unbelievable how many of these we've had. More than what I've had in the last 10 years. Which is crazy. This rod was only out a little while ago, so they're nice and lively, which is nice. These two will make a nice end to the trip. Nice to finish on a fish, but even better to finish on two. So, we... Nice lovely colour fish that one, look at that. It's in nice condition, it? Put its fin up for it. Free bearded one this one. See where it's got the two at the top and one at the bottom. Whereas the other one had four, it should have had five. That's pretty cool. Yeah, nice fish. It's quite smart, that's whacking the old fins up for us. Lovely jubbly. And then we got a Mr. Whiten down here. I know you've seen plenty of these, but the end of the trip so there's one more so pretty good two more fish got to walk all the way down now and put them back again <laughs> but yeah nice are you all telling me <laughs> telling Joe I need a rest Thanks everyone. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, just you know, trying to do my best for the channel and stuff for everyone to see. We still had quite a few fish tonight. I'm not sure how many we had, but it must be 25 plus now. Eight Rockland, I think. And however many Whiten. 17, 18 now, I think. So we're well up there. So thanks for everyone coming in. I'm going to go and put these two back while they're still alive and kicking. And then I might start getting some of the gear together and packing down a bit. <laughs> yeah, I do need a rest. And I'll have one tomorrow, but I'll sit back and do some editing and stuff. Oh. Put these two in the water. Oh. Two more on that one. Two more on that one. <laughs> Funny pattern on that Rockland. Yeah. It's quite nice though. It's a pre beaded one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I had. Yeah. Never since I haven't caught that many in 10 years like that yeah. in one I night. Yeah.
the weight look. Right. Sort some of this stuff out. Make sure I don't forget that towel there. Got a small bit of bait left over today, which is unusual. I'm sure that'll go if I freeze it. That'll go for another trip. I'm sure I'll be out again next week.
I am dinner. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Falling apart. Oh, Jesus. Must have been in there. Get out. Worthers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, about right. That one over there. Here. Yeah. Room with cup. <laughs> we'll grab some what was in the freezer.
Right, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for coming in. Appreciate you staying till the end. Sorry I messed this one up a little bit, but I'm just so knackered I can't do it anymore. Normally I'd have fished you know, a lot longer. We'd have even more fish, but just can't do it tonight. Oh, I can hardly breathe walking up and down the beach. I'm absolutely toast. So thanks everyone for coming in. Appreciate all the help over the channel and support and everything like that. And I'll be out again soon. I'm going to have to have a couple of days where I don't do any heavy sessions. I'm just going to have to do some editing and stuff like that. And I think I'll get out on the broads next week and do a bit of pike fishing or something like that where I can just sit back a little bit and not have to put too much effort into it. But yeah, we've done good. We had 25, 30 fish, didn't we? Um, we probably could have had a lot more if I'd have really fished that hard. No problem, Richard. Thanks for coming in. Cheers for that, Martin. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Had a hard two or three weeks with no breaks. No problem, Stefan. What do we make? We made it till midnight, so it's not bad. I've been here since three. So I had four hours sleep and then I've done the night session myself the night before, so we've done fairly well. So thanks everyone for coming in. I'll speak to you all pretty soon. I'll probably see you tomorrow in someone else's live or on YouTube somewhere. So I appreciate everything you've done. I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, night everyone. And he's in a good mood. Yeah. yeah. Fish and a broccoli. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Result for me. Hope you're all good. Hopefully, next time I can do a live with a bit of luck. <laughs> a lot of my guys. Yeah. I feel like they all sound like, yeah. Yeah. Night, guys. <laughs> Have a good one. Just got to try and get up the hill now. Yeah. <laughs> Along the beach first. Yeah, beach first and up the hill. We love the punishment. <laughs> I need to lose the food bank, so. <laughs> well, grab a beer, I'll be able to be Santa. <laughs> Right, see you later everyone. Cheers for coming are. in.